Okay, uh, let's turn our attention to another stock that's been rising a goodish bit this year. We must pull up the chart of Rajesh Exports. Uh, uh, the stock has had a dream run lately. Uh, that one-year chart will come up for you in just a bit, 155% higher in the year. Uh, so let's find out what's going right for this company. No, that's the intraday chart. This is how the uh, one-year chart looks. And clearly the last six months have been good for the stock. Uh, let's invite Rajesh Mehta, the executive chairman of the company, who is he's joining us now. Uh, good morning, uh, uh, Rajesh. Uh, well, uh, actually, the sales numbers look very impressive in the last quarter, 57% higher. But quite clearly, your profits tend to be much lower than your sales number. So let's look at the profit. Uh, the fourth quarter did a substantial rise from 60 crore to 205 crore. Should we assume the 200 crore will be your run rate? Yeah, morning, Lata. Um, if you look at our results last year, we have uh, posted total revenues of over 50,000 crores with an EBITDA of around 765 crores and a net profit of around 648 crores. And as you said, even if you look at our last quarter, mm -hmm. that is the uh, fourth quarter of last year, uh, we have posted impressive results. That is, year on year, we have grown close to about 100%. And uh, even quarter on quarter, we have grown to around 48% uh, percent or something like that. Mm -hmm. So even this quarter, I think we are expecting uh, good revenues and good results mm. uh, because we have been, uh, as we have been announcing uh, uh, of late, if you are seeing, we have been receiving good export orders. Mm. and. Uh, we feel we should be able to post good numbers even in this uh, first quarter. Okay. But you know, Rajesh, for if you if I looked at your F515 balance sheet, for a sales of that size and even profit of 600 crore, your fixed assets are only 165 crore. Uh, isn't that a bit strange? Well, uh, we are uh, primarily in the business of jewelry making and gold products. We import gold from various mines around the world and from various refineries around the world. This gold we either refine or we use it for manufacturing of manufacturing of jewelry and other gold products. Now, in gold business, uh, there are not too much of fixed assets. It's not like a cement plant or a steel plant where we need to put up huge machineries or uh, huge, you know, infrastructure or anything like that. We do have a factory. We have put up a unit, which is the world's largest jewelry manufacturing facility. And we are a zero debt company. Primarily, since our assets, fixed assets are low, we have never required debt. We okay. are a cash rich company, if you look at our balance sheet. Mm -hmm. And uh, the infrastructure, what we need, are machineries okay. for manufacture of jewelry and right. it's the okay, human okay. input which is the most important All right. thing. Okay. Uh, Rajesh, you know, uh, the other disconcerting bit is despite being a, a revenue, a company which earns revenues of 50,000 crores, your margins are wafer thin at just about 2 to 3 odd percent. And I remember in 2007 you had said that the company would start, you know, see an improvement in margins, but we have seen no improvement at all. What is the reason for such thin margins and what kind of uh, margins can we expect in the years to come? Well, um, you are right when you look at our margins, our uh, EBITDA is around 3.5% and our net profit is around 1.8 to 2%. Mm. Now, this is primarily because we manufacture jewelry in wholesale and we supply to large-scale manufacturers and wholesalers around the world. And uh, we operate at a low margin, but it is a fixed margin, it's the rock bottom. Basically, because we are a completely 100% hedge company in terms of gold prices and in terms of foreign exchange. But the profits what we get basically are fixed profits. That is, we, can, we will never go below this because they are, uh, it's like a job work. We mm. get the gold, we translate and convert it into jewelry and export it. So the gold is hedge, the uh, foreign, exchange, okay. foreign exchange is hedge. Actually, so yeah. what we earn is fix our own earning. Okay. But, but going forward, mm. we are definitely working towards improving our margins. In 2007, we had definitely said that we are set to improve our margins. 
we did improve our margins, but at the same time, we have also improved our volumes. If you look at our volume growth, okay. we so have in grown FY16, impressively. So in and FY16 and FY17, what kind of margins can we expect? Uh, FY16 and 17, I definitely expect um, decent margins much more better than this. Uh, I think we are looking at margins of between 3 to 5 percent, that is net. And EBITDA, maybe we are looking at margins between 5 to 8 percent uh, during the next two years. Because we are getting into retailing, we are getting into retailing in a large way. And we are also getting into backward integration. Okay, Rajesh, you we also... Are getting into backward integration. Okay, got that. You know, you also have huge trade payables. That's about 8,800 crores and it has risen by 3,000 crores compared to the previous year. You're also reporting net ca uh, negative cash flows. All these are worrying trends, aren't they? Uh, no, there is no worry in this. In fact, the trade payables which are there, in fact, they are the payables which we have to pay to the suppliers of goods. That is, we import goods uh, against LCs and sometimes against clean credit. And we get credit because of the standing of our company in the market, in the international market. We do get credit. So we get credit and these are the payables which we have to pay to our suppliers. Okay, they are not debtor these days. These are trade payables. These are not any long... Sorry? These are not debtor days. Debts that is owed to you. No, the, the, uh, the, these are we are supposed to pay, okay. basically. Okay. So uh, basically we, we are supposed to pay to our suppliers. They are gold suppliers basically to whom we pay. But why, why would you not pay? Not gold on credit. Why would you not pay? You have got cash on your books. No, we, because we would like to use our cash to better things. Okay. We, we use our cash to different things. We earn okay. interest on that. And so many other ways we use the cash. Now, okay. when we are getting international credit based on our standing, why should we go and pay? Fair enough. It's not required because All when right. somebody is ready to give me credit without any uh, you know, other problems, and it's better I use the credit. That's right. why we use the credit. All right. We'll leave it at that. Thank you very much, Ajish, for joining in, in this conversation. Okay. Let's take a break.